My name is Pauline Jamardo. I'm Senior Sales Director of North America at GRASP. I'm being joined in the background by Peter Cibio, our Marketing Specialist. He'll be fielding any questions that you might send. There's a little section on the GoToMeeting uh, area where you can send the questions through the question feature, and Peter will be calling those and presenting them at the last latter part of this presentation. Um, everyone is on um, listen-in mode, and so I will jump in and do a couple things today. We want to welcome you for joining Episode 4 of Grasping Opportunities, uh, Do More With Less. So for any of you, we, we're joined by a lot of customers today and a lot of um, prospects. Um, you may know my role here at GRASP. I handle new business development in all of North America for travel agencies, for host agencies, for corporate agencies, for leisure agencies, for corporate travel departments. It's a little bit of everything. So in my role here, I hear stories all the time. And if, historically, I've always found that agencies either had, were host agencies or they weren't. They were corporate or they were leisure. And if, certainly we're seeing a mix of corporate and leisure. But when it comes to ICs and when it comes to independent contractors and home-based agents, the question was always, you know, do we want to do that? Do we want to invest in that? Do we want to support that? Or should we just not go there? I'm learning in the last year or so, and certainly this year, where agencies are looking at other opportunities to grow their business, certainly um, this year. And so what I'm calling this is travel agencies dipping into the IC waters, because that's what we're seeing. So what are the conversations like? Um, trending, um, what I'm hearing, the hot topics, COVID, of course, front and center. But with that, agencies are really looking at evaluating all the aspects of their business. Um, they're doing more with fewer staff. They're finding ways to reduce costs. They're looking under rocks. They're coming to us saying, how can you help? How can we automate processes? We need to work, we need to work as hard as we possibly can with fewer staff. That's just the lay of the land. Also, automating tasks. So story after story of an agency saying we had this many people in accounting, we had to furlough a few. So we need to automate processes that typically were very manual intensive. So looking for creative ways and really for the first time maybe managing a virtual workplace. Um, I've heard, you know, many times even to, to that extent where agents have said, I'm only going to go into an office. I would never work from home. Or an agency saying, we insist on having all of our agents coming into the office. We're seeing that change. And so with that, agencies are saying, how can I expand my business? Can I bring in independent contractors to help me bring in additional revenue. So crossing the virtual chasm is what I would call the, um, we will never have a staff that works from home ever to everyone's working from home. So that's been crossed. Agents are working from home. Agencies are dealing with virtual staff. Agencies are looking at their leases. Agencies are looking at their business environment and saying, do we really need to have an office environment anymore? Is virtual okay? You know, here at GRASP, we're about 40, 50% virtual. So we get it. I have been working from home for 20 years. So for me, it wasn't really anything unusual. But a lot of agencies this year for the very first time sort of got into a panic mode. What do we do? We've always had just the office here. People come in. This is the way it has always been. But now I would say we've crossed that virtual chasm. And all of a sudden, new opportunities are arising with that. So, you know, the other thing is that we're seeing um, agencies um, after really this, you know, last few months of being in really a frozen mode, we're seeing some sparkle. I'm going to call it sparkle. We're seeing agencies' um, business increase. We're seeing transactions come up. I saw that, you know, I have a client in Canada who told me they had the highest revenue they've ever had in the few in the few years that they've been in business. They're a very niche agency. We have I have a US customer who was telling me about hundreds of thousands of dollars of leisure bookings that they've booked. I've got a corporate travel department that said their travel is up to 40% of where it used to be. And I saw travel leaders today, obviously a, a, a large consortium, say that 45% of travelers are beginning to plan again. Um, they're beginning to look at 2021. I know I have my dream list for next year of where I want to go. So with that, agents and agencies are looking at the future. And that sparkle is quite interesting and exciting for all of us. 
So on the agency side of things, you know, the, the extensive resources of dealing with all of a sudden a virtual team and working with the whole concept of working with ICs and those who have never done it before, those who have never been a host agency, what do you do? Is that going to cost me more money? What kind of, in, what kind of uh, work has to be, is involved to do that for, to change my agency or to expand the footprint that I currently have? All this, all the processes that they have to do, the calculating of commissions, the generating of individual statements for each and every agent to, to create the statement of what the agent has produced, what the commissions are, and to send that out. If you've got under, you know, if you have a handful of agents, not a problem. But how can you grow your footprint? If you're at five agents and you want to be at 10, you start saying, well, look at how much work we have to do for five. Can we do that with the resources we have right now and double the amount of agents we have? So big considerations. Distrib the distribution of the individual statements to each and every agent. And then for agencies, you know, when we're looking at ways to grow, all of a sudden, if the agent doesn't have to come into the office, you can cast a wider net as the agency to say, wow, okay, I'm in Cleveland, but it doesn't matter. I don't have to be, you know, a half an hour, have agents within an hour driving distance from the agency. I can cast a wider net when I'm hiring, and I don't have to do a substantial um, investment to do so because independent agent business is completely different. Um, access to technologies from anywhere, that's, again, part of that virtual chasm. When in uh, March, we had tons of agencies come to us to say, what do we do? We need access to our technologies to work from anywhere. So in years past, it's been, how do I access my back office when I'm on vacation? This year, it was, we closed our door, we locked it, we're all from home, how do we get into our GDS? How do we get into our back office? How can we access our technologies? And then I always say, you know, questions, 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 which are all the questions that the agency has to field when working with a virtual staff and certainly working with, as a host agency, with independent contractors, commission-based agents, to say, went to, to field all the questions. Where's my $4.85? Where's my $293.75? Did Carnival send me that check? So there are a lot of, there's a lot of hands-on when you're working in this environment. Then I look at the agent, um, how, the, the new challenges for the agent. Um, now they can work from anywhere. They don't have to be within driving distance from an agency. So they raise their eyebrows. Am I really happy where I am? Or should I be looking at other opportunities? Because there's this great agency in fill-in-the-blank city. I'd really like to work with them, but I never, ever wanted to work from home, but now I love it. So what do you do? It casts a wider net also for that agent who's looking around. Um, they want to manage their business. They don't want to be at the beck and call of, let's say, the accounting person in the agency to look for their commission, to ask if the commission has been paid, to ask when the next statement is available, to ask what's tracking for the next statement, all of the questions. And, you know, we have a lot of agents who will come to us to say, you know, do you have a product that I can access my business 24 hours a day to see where I am, to not have to go to someone to eliminate that middleman, um, to look at sales, to look at goals, to look over year over year, to see, you know, where you are year to date. To, to see open commissions, to see what is on a list of still pending, to see what's been unpaid. And then what about the checks that come into the agency that the agency has placed into their back office, but the agent has no idea? So when the agent sees that they, from their list that Carnival Cruise is still open and they call Carnival and Carnival says, well, we paid that, how does the agent potentially find out? without it, how fabulous would it be to just have it in their own hands to be able to look at it on their own. Also, we have a number of agents and agencies who come to us about automating processes of getting transactions into the back office. Many, um, many agents book outside of the GDS, yet that information has to go into the back office so that it can be tracked and it can be monitored for commissions. Um, and the, the other thing I'll mention, I think it's really important. In the last few years, I've had a number of agencies approach me um, to say, uh, we're calling to take, gra we, we want to buy Grasp Agent. Well, isn't that a fabulous call to get, you know, when you're in charge of new business development? It doesn't happen very often that people come and say, I want to buy something out of the blue. But in the last few years, I've had increased interest from agencies 
who have never really been in the icy waters or have been and are squiring an agent who's really strong and is going to bring them a lot of business. And during the interview process, the agent has asked this question, do you have grasp agent? And that's a product that we have here at Grasp that does this, that puts all of the information into the agent's hands. And I, these particular agencies called me and said, I don't even know what it is, but they told me to call you. And they purchased it on the spot because they wanted that really strong agent who was used to having all the information at their fingertips. And with that, you know, the same question here, question questions, questions. How wonderful for the agent to be able to have all that information at their fingertips. And again, going back to the agency, for the agency to not have to answer those questions. So it's really about, you know, for many of our customers, automating manual processes. And with that, you know, we, I think of a couple of things when I think of three specific items that we have here at Graph that our customers reach out to us for to help them with that. The first one, and I, I'm going to show you a little demo of this at the very end here, is Grasp Agent. It's our productivity and business management portal. On the agent side, on this, pardon me, on the agency side of things, instead of you calculating, we want, we want to take the work away from you. You're going to certainly have an admin portal. I will show you the agent portal today. But imagine the calculations being done, just humming in the background, all the calculations being done in the background so that you don't have to do that. The distribution where the, distrib the, um, the reports, the statements are all available on a, on a site. I think of it as like my Chase bank account. If I want to see a statement on my Chase bank account, I just go in, I look. I can see all the transactions. That's very similar to Grasp Agent. So imagine a 24-7 access for the admin or for the agent to be able to go in and see things like commission by month, year over year, pulling in all the disparate data points of what they've sold, searching, looking for unpaid. I'm going to show you this in a minute. But this is our product, Grasp Agent. There's also, there are also a couple of ancillary features to Grasp Agent, um, and I will show you uh, two of those today as well. You know, it's so exciting, as, you know, as I was saying earlier, that we're starting to see this sparkle and we're starting to see some upticks. Before I got on the call today, I was, listen, I was watching, I was reading something about Delta saying that they've resumed some level of business travel, that there's been a modest improvement. You know, I have a, a client who told me they, as I mentioned earlier, they've just booked hundreds of thousands of dollars in cruise business. I read something from travel leaders today, you know, 45% of travelers, I, I've said this before, looking for forward to the future. So with that, agents are looking at ways to be more productive by automating what they do. Second item I want to tell you about today is Grasp Direct. Um, using the example where an agent is working outside of the GDS and needs to get the information into the back office, we have a product that directly connects. And this is a, um, as you may know, in North America, there are a number of back office systems. There are some systems that, uh, for example, you know, we see TRAMS, we see TRAVCOM, we see Globalware, Agresso, Central Command. And Grasp Direct is exclusively for TRAMS. Um, it is one we built for TRAMS. They have the largest representation in the U.S., so we built it for them. But imagine an accounting tool platform where you can have a, an opportunity to submit a sale or to see a commission alert to say, for example, let me know as an agent, let me know when I'm going to see over a, a check for over $200. You know, I need to pay down my mortgage and, or I want to buy a pair of shoes. I want, you know, let me know the commission alerts. Show me the unpaid commissions. I want to look up a ticket to see where the status is. Is the ticket paid? Is it not? Is it mine? Is it showing under someone else? My profile, I've moved, I need a change of address, I don't have to keep going to a third party, I can eliminate the middleman. And then deposit alert would be for the admin side. Um, I think the biggest aspect of Grasp Direct, the one that is most utilized by our agencies, would be the submit a sale. Um, application or module where an agent can just using the simplest possible format, use drop down windows and select, you know, they sold a cruise and it was on Carnival and it was this much money and it was here's the, here's the departure date and here's the return date, here's the total fare, if it's a final payment or not and what the commission amount is. That magic button at the bottom, submit invoice, you click on it, 
it speaks instantaneously with trams, with trams creating both an invoice and a contract item. So it eliminates the middleman because we know, and I've heard millions of stories where the agent typically outside of the GDS has to let someone in accounting know that they did a transaction. They're going to call, they're going to write, they're going to put a post-it on their desk. There's, there's all that interaction. We eliminate that with Grasp uh, Direct. The final thing I really want to tell you about before I show you very quickly a uh, grasp agent is that, you know, once we've crossed this virtual chasm, oh, how do you work remotely? And I know a client of ours called us in uh, March and said, we closed the doors and we opened the doors, like within seconds. We just went home, we turned on the web, and we were there. So with Grasp Cloud, we can outs with outsourced infrastructure. So think about that server that's always been in your office, and think about how you'd like to get rid of it. Well, that's where we can step in. So talk about business continuity or just working from home, you know, crisis management. We have clients who are all over this country. We look at Louisiana, we look at storms, Florida, California, where it, maybe the agents can't get into the office where the server is and someone needs to get onto a technology that's on the server. Imagine if it was virtual and you could get to it from anywhere in the world. That's really where Grasp Cloud comes in. You know, I think of the technologies that run an agency, GDS, back office, a CRM, you know, for our leisure agencies, uh, um, the uh, Sabre um, CRM, um, email, exchanged. Microsoft Office, so all the technologies you would typically find on your server, you can access from anywhere in the world. Then I would say, you know, why cloud at all and why grasp? Well, certainly disaster recovery. So something happens with your server and it happens. To be able to be up and running, you contact us and say, this is what happened, up and running. Data security, you know, we're quite buttoned up. We work with companies as large as Visa and MasterCard and we're very, very buttoned up in terms of our data security. I think one of the first things people say to us when they do come over is that, wow, it's so much faster than what I'm used to. Why? Because the server is limited in an agency environment. It, you're going to hit a ceiling at some point, and then you're going to have to invest in a brand new server. That gets really pricey and really expensive. We do the backup for you. We can scale. So we're seeing a lot of mergers. We're seeing a lot of acquisitions, or certainly we're seeing reading about them. I saw a couple of them this week. Um, I saw a consortium put up a website this week saying, you know, would you like us to match you with buyers? Would you like us to match buyers and sellers? So it's a topic right now. So imagine you go from 10 agents to 20 or 5 to 10 or 20 to 50. No matter what, your, your server would not be at risk because we would be just increasing the gigabytes on our side in the storage. And I think probably the most important thing, I'm sure there are, thousands of companies out there who offer cloud hosting. And there are probably multiples of that, you know, um, who offer all the services that you would think you would need. But explain what a GDS is. Explain what a 40-year technology is to someone who is not familiar with the travel industry. It's impossible. So, you know, I think that's really where we come into play, where we are travel experts. We've been doing this for a quarter century. Our cloud product is really just really fantastic. And you will never, ever have to teach us how to spell GDS because we get it. So um, I will end this part of the presentation by just asking a question and saying, you know, how can we help? How can we help you? Is there something you're thinking about as you're uh, wanting to dip into the icy waters? Is it something you want to talk to us about? How to manage your business from afar? How to bring on additional agents? How to have these transactions automated? All, all of these technologies automated for you. So let me now come into uh, Grasp Agents. I can show you what that looks like. And please, if you have any questions, just send them over, and Peter and I will address them at the end here. So I'm coming in into the uh, – there's an admin portal, and then I'm coming into the agent view. So I'm going to pretend I'm an agent, and I'm working for one of your agencies. I can come in, and this is a picture of my business. How fabulous. I don't have to keep asking the questions. I can find out the answers right here. Up here at the top, I can see finalized or activity. That's my – all of my transactions. Finalized done and paid. Activity, everything I've done, but it's, maybe, it's not finalized, it's not paid. Some of it would be, but it's everything. Then I can see, again, me and only me, I would be able to see my commission by month year over year. 
if you see these horizontal lines, these are goal lines. It would be up to the admin to be able to launch them or not, to say, you know, if you want to continue working here, Pauline, you've got to bring in $10,000 worth of revenue a month. Then I'll know, I'll be able to float over here, I'll be able to click on any of these. I have a couple of export features as well. One to the right, commissioned by product year to date. The agency may say, I need you to sell more celebrity cruises. I need you to do 20% you know, on American Airlines because we've got these, um, that's a preferred carrier for us, what have you. So I'd be able to see commissioned by product. And this is year to date. And again, every single person who has a login credential would only see their own business. So for everybody who's on the phone, if we all worked at the same agency, we'd each individually only see our own business. Over here on the bottom left, sales by month, year over year. Similarly, one over, sales by product year to date. Up here on the right, this is where I think the guts of the product are. So over here, we have two statement areas. The finalized statement, which shows me what's done and paid, and I can expect this in my pocket. So I'm going to launch one of these. This is the last, set. let's say the one, August 1. This is, of course, a demo site. We're not connected to anybody. Let me increase this view. Hopefully you can see that. So here would be my statement. So how does it work on the admin side? Do you have to individually post each of these statements into Grasp Agent? No. So behind the scenes, and uh, behind the scenes, you would just have everything in. And by the way, this particular product is for trams and global wear. And for anyone on Travcom, we're looking for a patient partner to be able to build it out on Travcom. On, um, Travcom. Um, so you do all what, that you need to do in the back office. We're going to mirror to what's in your back office and we're going to mirror to the penny. So an agent would be able to come in here and at the end of the month, at the end of the statement, be able to come in whenever your pay period is, be able to view item after item that would be uh, reflective of what that check is going to be. So you can see who my customer is, who the traveler is, what the amount is, and what the commission is. Let me scroll all the way down to the bottom here. So at the very end of it, would be my totals. So let me show you that. So here are my test agent. So domestic international service fee, all the transactions, the total amounts. Directly above, and this is a question I'm asked quite often, what about agent adjustments? Would they be reflected? Because you're going to charge me $25 to send out a FedEx. Would that be, that's going to come off my check? So although there's not a dollar amount reflected here, the answer to the question is yes, agent adjustments would be reflected here. And then, um, on with my day. I have found the information I need. Now, there's also something I didn't get to show you at the very beginning. The admin can also create a little welcome notice. So when I come in as an agent, it would say, welcome to Grasp Agents. Statements are available on the 15th of the month. And then I would know when my statement was available. The admin doesn't have to do anything except let the system know when the statements are ready. Because GRASP doesn't want to assume that when you say the 15th of the month that you mean 7 in the morning, 10, noon, or 5 in the afternoon. So we don't want to, we don't want to um, expose statements before they're ready to be exposed. So the only thing the admin does, and of course training is, you know, we do lots of training on this too. That's what the admin would do. One area lower here. So imagine the same look and feel but now we're going to go into interim statements. So today is, you know, let's say today is the 22nd of the month. So I'm a week past the statement date, the monthly statement date. I can track, I can just see what's tracking for my next check. And that's an interim statement. Same look, same feel, but not closed, not finalized. There may be a refund. I've got some adjustments, et cetera. Then I can come in as an agent, and you know I'm not attached to the back office. Um, agencies have a, just a, a core group of people who would be uh, at, have access to the back office, but I have the information that's in the back office. So because we're attached to the back office with a piece of technology called Secure Connect, which is pulling in the data. Here I'd be able to see reports, so I can see an activity report. And reminder that activity is done is everything that I've done. I see an activity report, I see vendor sales. For finalized, done and paid, there's a detail report, there's a statement report, and then there's a finalized year-over-year -year report. There's an interim report, again, tracking from my next check, and then finally, probably the most popular report in the entire site would be open unpaid items. Where's my money? So I can come in here and say, did that vendor pay me? Is it open? Is it still open? Has the money come in? 
So let's just say um, I look at this list and, you know, I start calling him and come back to that story in a second because if it's open, I want to get my money and I want to get it soon. Then I can do a search. I can come in here and whether it's ticket number, passenger name, anything that I have sold, I can go in and search on. And then I can, if I want to look at everything, I can, or I can look at finalized, open, or interim. That is what we call the standard GRASP agents. That would be the standard offering for GRASP agent. Like a number of our products, we have ancillary features that are available to you. They are optional. And two of them are down here at the very bottom on the right. The first one is unclaimed commissions. So in that story where I ran the unpaid commission report, and I see that there is a cruise that owes me $2,000. I want that money. I call them, and they say, we already paid it. I say, what do, you, what do you mean? You paid it. I, what? So I come into the unclaimed commission module, and the admin on the site has instructed me, hmm, you've got 37 days to collect this, or it goes into the holiday fund. I added those words. And then I could come in here and say, all right, as I'm looking at this, oh, my goodness, that was mine. That's my sale. That one's my sale. This, oh, my goodness, all these have come in. I had no idea. So I've selected four sales that I did that the checks have come in. They've been posted in the back office, but they've been under an unknown agent rep instead of an agent name. With two extra clicks, here's one. Here are the four that I selected. And I think this is where the angels sing, where the agent then, with one extra click, gets a pre-formatted email that goes out to whoever in accounting, the same narrative every single time. And then here are the four items that I clicked on that followed me into this email. So I can just send this off to accounting to say, these are mine. Now, you may ask me to attach something to prove that those are mine. That's fine. It's just in a Microsoft email format, so you can absolutely do that. And that's the unclaimed commission uh, module. It's in the ancillary feature for Grasp Agent. And the last ancillary feature for Grasp Agent is print my invoice. You know, we a lot of times customers call and ask for copies of their invoice. And we have a standalone product called Print My Invoice. Um, but we've also given you the ability, if you'd like to add it into Grasp Agent, you can do so. And this is what it would look like, where someone calls the agent and says, I need a copy of an invoice. An agent can quickly put in the first name, the last name of the traveler. They'll need one other piece of information. They enter it into this box. They say they're not a robot, and they get a copy of the invoice. One last thing about Grasp Agent, so that's really Grasp Agent today. One last thing, I mentioned that product, Grasp Direct, the one that can do submit a sale to enter sales into TRAM. So for our TRAMS agency customers, if you like both Grasp Agent and Grasp Direct, um, I would say we're the manufacturer, we can add um, submit a sale into Grasp Agents so that your agents don't have to go to two places to get their business done. So they could come into Grasp Agent and we'd have a link into Grasp, in Grasp Agent that would launch you directly into that submit a sale portal so that you could go ahead and present um, uh, uh, post tr uh, transactions into the back office and submit a sale again as for trans. So I wanted to keep it nice and short. We're at half an hour. Um, Peter, I'm going to ask you if uh, any questions have come in. I certainly want to answer those, and I think probably as I was looking at the guest list, I think I know every, almost everybody on the call, so you know how to find me. Um, this presentation will be available to everybody. My email is pauline at grasptech.com, and certainly my phone number is 312-654-1383. I can answer specific questions you know, for you if you want to take this offline and do extra demos. You know you can find me, and well, I, I can help. So, Peter, I want to ask you to jump in if possible. Are any questions that have come through? Uh, as of right now, no questions yet. Let's give it, a, you know, let's give it a little bit, see if anyone has any to ask. Absolutely. Well, I'll answer a question that I'm asked all the time. I'll ask and answer it. You know, one of the questions I'm asked is, well, how long does it take to, to get this up and running? Because you're trying to hire an agent and they, they, you want them to start immediately. And how quickly can you have this because you want to hire them pronto? So um, a typical setup for Grasp Agent is about, you know, a 45 days or so. It could be 45 to 60 days. Depends on how many agents you have, how much customization or configura configuration that we have to do. Um, so that, and then also if we're adding graph direct to it, that would extend the time. 
Uh, we got something coming here from Walt. He says, great product. Well, Walt, Hi, Walt. Walt, that's not a question, but we appreciate that so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hi, Walt. Say hi to Bonnie. <laughs> so um, actually, I communicated with her a little bit today. So thank you. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, what's been so wonderful is that agents have become our little warriors and they're going out there and they're telling people about it. And it's just really a fantastic um, way to do business for the agency to save time and money and to increase their footprint to bring in new business and for the agents to put the control in their hands. Um, so any other questions? I think we're all covered here. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, everyone knows where to find me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining oh. episode four. Oh, another one. Real quick. Real yep. quick. Sorry. Uh, let's see. This is from, uh, not sure who this is from, it says, I hear TRAMS is integrated, how, uh, I hear TRAMS is integrated already. How feasible is it to integrate other solutions or not practical and better to look at TRAMS? Okay, I wanna make sure I understand the question. So we're talking about three primary items here, if I'm answering it correctly, and, and please respond if not. So GRASP agent, um, works with TRAMS and Globalware, and we're looking for a patient partner for Travcom. We've had a lot of interest from Travcom customers, but no one who's really moved forward being a patient partner with ours. GRASP Direct is exclusively for TRAMS at this time, and GRASP Cloud is completely agnostic. So no matter what technologies you have, we can put them in the cloud. Um, when it comes to expanding, so we, I, I talked about GRASP Agent where we're looking for a pa patient partner for Travcom. I don't know that we have on our a roadmap um, any kind of expansion of GRASP Direct into other back offices. So much of what we do is based on you know, client request. Um, and so at this point, I've not had a lot of interest, but if it's something you'd like to pursue, we'd be happy to talk to you about it. About 20% of what we do as a company is a, you know, configurable and configuration and customization. So we'd be happy to speak to you about it. You can reach out to me. Can I answer uh, that, that question? Was that question was from uh, Kevin Trill. He says, thank you. Oh, hi, Kevin. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate the, the, uh, the question. Thank you. Okay. I think we are all good here. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to thank everyone for joining. Um, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me. This is going to wrap up episode four, do more with less. And uh, please let us know if we can be of service to you. Thank you so much, everybody. Mm -hmm.